Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. We're headed into Goodwill in Clearwater, Florida on Gandhi Boulevard looking for purses, knickknacks, whatnots, new dads, and trinkets to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. This is the purse superstore as I call it. So hit that notification bell, click all so you don't mess it on my live buy it nows and auctions of jewelry and purses on my channel. Thumbs up for the video. Subscribe. We just hit 20,000 subscribers, so thank y'all so much for that. We did that a day ago. So let's go in here and see what they've got. Who knows? I love this store so much. One of my faves. And she says hello. She usually does. Here quite often, Rosetti, my B elf to the elf. She is something else. This one's not as full today. Ellen Tracy. Uh oh, here we are again. Look at this. I tell you what, she comes in all different variations. She's always trying to go home, but we've only bought her once. Let's see what I'm talking about. There's just so many Rosettis. Saturated market. Ugh. Not even sure what store you'd buy a new one in. JC Penney's. Beautiful bright red purses. We're looking for that treasure. Will we find it? I don't know. I don't know. They're gonna have purses in the front here, also in the back. How'd y'all like that TJ Maxx video from a few days ago? Go check that out if you haven't already. I think it's up to nearly 30,000 views. You thought that was Prada, didn't you? At least the symbol. Is this real leather? It's Franco Sardo. Little cute Liz Claiborne relic. What's this little flowery crossbody? I'm hoping that they have some good knickknacks in here today. Line, Coldwater Creek. This might be a quick trip. So no purses at the front. We got some new wallets. This is the store where I found the beautiful quilt last week. And then you have more purses at the back. What is this little baby right here? Oh, this is something special. Is it or not? Kind of pretty, isn't it? No name brand on that one. We don't always have to buy name brand, but I prefer it. Honestly, prefer it. Because you can find non-name brand purses sometimes that are beautiful. This place could be a hit or miss. Any thrift store is. Found a shit that I find here once Gucci Kiss Lock. Sold it for 200 to 200 250. That is the best thing I found here. What is this? I don't know if that's for wine bottles or what that is. We may be out of luck. And the wallets are usually right here. And this is ground packed full. They're busy today. Let's see what we got here. What is this one? I've seen these before. 
I'm not sure if they're valuable or not, but I'm gonna pass on that. I don't like the condition of it. It's not good condition. come back to the wallets we're gonna go look at the knickknacks they've just got stuff all over the place supervisor register phone please supervisor register phone so those things are scattered and that's okay Ooh, they already did it. They put a succulent in it. Look at that. Ooh. Look at this. It's not old, but it looks old. Five dollars. It's cute. Nautica wallet, five dollars cost ten at Ross. So, those purses are a little bit overwhelming today because they are all over the place. We're just going to go look at knickknacks and whatnots and doodads and trinkets. A little fairy bell. in here that they color code which is really nice Got up early this morning and went around looking for garage sales. Needless to say, on the day that I get up early, this is American Artware. There was these garage sale signs everywhere and no garage sales. And I'm like, okay, the one day that I'll actually get out of bed early and there's no garage sales, just a ton of signs. I need to check out some estate sales too. I love the auction, so. We'll get to go to that. Look at these. And here we are. We're going to put a succulent in it, Deborah. 
anytime we find a little planter like this, we always put succulents in them. Look at this cute salt and pepper shaker, salt shaker. Love mixing and matching these. Two dollars each. These would make great dessert cups. So those are something like you'd find in an antique store. What is this little thing? Oh my gosh. This is cute. Butterfly people. It has a little hanger right there on the back. $2.98. Look at this, y'all. So I hung up two uh, butterfly wing plates that I bought in an auction some time back. I hung those up in my uh, guest restroom and I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I just think those are too cute. These look like something to be in an antique store also. Take a look at those. Look at this vintage item from 19, made in British Hong Kong, 1978. I don't know if there's a market for that or not. What do y'all think? Comment below and let me know if you think I should pack this up. It's pretty. May have to check comps on this and see. It's very unique. It'd be nice to pick it up for resale. We'll see if there's a market out there. and wagers family lots of new stuff in here too let's go take a look at the quilts now we lucked out a few days ago and got a fancy quilt and I didn't show you all this but when I looked it up or when I washed it and put it on my um, guest bed it had it was marked um, 51 number 51 27 out of 20,000 so that's good. So it's actually a limited edition. These are good looking bikes right here. This one's $79. Well, tires are all there. This looks like new. Well, I don't see any quilts today, so that's it. So we're gonna get this for sure. I'm gonna just keep that, not for resale. <coughs> I may get this. I'm going to check comps on it to see if it's worth anything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on these live or these video uploads and live auctions. And until next video, we'll see y'all later. Bye.